How's everybody doing? Good. Good to see you guys. What are your, I mean, coming out of fall camp and, and week one, um, you know, do you have, what, what keeps you up at night, I guess, going into this this week? I mean, is there any sort of things lingering in your mind that, you know, your top concern or top uh, worry? Yeah, I'd say opening week, um, you know, sometimes preparing for the unknown, right? That's a difficult thing that all of us as coaches have to have our guys ready for what you expect, but ready for really everything, right? So as a defensive guy, you don't get to, we don't get to punt. We don't get to throw the ball away, right? We defend it all. So uh, that's an important thing for us is our guys ready no matter what gets thrown at us. Matt, when you prepare for two different quarterbacks, what's the mechanics of that behind the scenes? I mean, it stands to reason that it would take more time away from other things, but how does that work in terms of how you allocate staff to deal with it and what does it maybe take preparation away from when you're trying to deal with two different Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. Um, I think a couple things. Holistically, you know how a system has functioned for a number of years, and then you, you try to best guess you know, what you see on film of those guys do, do best and how those things could be featured from that standpoint. Um, obviously, in an opening game, you have a lot of time, right? So there's a lot of time spent in the offseason of studying an opponent. So from a taking away from other things, not so much in an opening game. Other times in a game plan week when you have shorter amount of time um, and you have two drastically different type of players, then you can say, okay, hey, what's the plan for this versus the plan for that? And, and sometimes those packages have to be tighter because of that. Um, you can't just smear maybe your whole defense over everything from that standpoint. But I would say in an opening game, uh, it's okay, what's the overall approach? What's the flavor of each individual player? And then, you know, you best attack from there. But you have a lot of time in the summer to plan those things. It's, it's kind of cliche to just sort of ask about your experience at Ohio State and, and overlaying that under preparing for this game. But what's the balance, I guess, you want to strike between feeling a certain confidence in, I've been incited, I, I, I recognize this that they're trying to do or that they're trying to do, but maybe not wanting to just sort of assume that everything from your experience there last year can translate straight into this game plan. For sure. Um, this is an elite offense, right? Ryan Day has had some of the best offenses in college football his entire time at Ohio State. So um, while there is some familiarity from, you know, what the people look like and, and how they function from that standpoint, you still got to go stop them, right? And that's the biggest thing is, okay, what are the fundamentals of defense regardless of who we're playing against in opening games, how we tackle, how we vice the ball in space, those are really the biggest things as far as execution on our part compared to saying, hey, I know exactly what's going to happen, right? They're going to have things that he's never shown before, different than when I was there, things like that. Um, so it, it's about us. Hey, Coach. Uh, Coach Allen mentioned when I asked him about positions that may be, you know, just kind of a little bit unknown going in. He mentioned secondary. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're back there working with those guys. Just, I guess... How do you feel about going in with, with so many new faces? And, and he mentioned, obviously, their receivers and, you know, their ability in space and your, your guys' job of, you know, tackling them and, and reducing those explosive plays. I guess, I mean, it's, how do you go about doing that without giving away too many secrets? Yeah, it's a, it's a great challenge for our guys. First off, on our end, we do have a, a number of new faces, and it's about making sure those guys have a great understanding of what we're trying to do and be able to go play fast and execute. Because if not, you're not going to be able to, to, to do anything at the level that you want. And then also, it's, it's knowing your personnel. Right, knowing that uh, here's some very explosive wide receivers, and then it's my job, right, our job as a defense staff to put them in position to be able to execute, and then it's, it's a competitive mindset from that standpoint, especially when you have young players. It's how you compete, how you finish. You know, not trying to, you know, it really, no matter who you're playing, it's about us and how we fight and how we compete, right? So that's been a big motto of ours all, all camp. Coach Allen kind of alluded to the preparation for Ohio State's quarterbacks going back to that, mentioning that you guys had to go back and find high school film of these guys. What was that process like? Maybe some behind the scenes of the nuts and bolts of how you guys have gone about that. Yeah, really nothing more than, than what he said to you, to be honest. You say, okay, who are the guys that are playing? What's every bit of film that we could possibly look at, you know, from that standpoint? And uh, say, what do they do best? You know, what are the things that we feel like we have to take away, right? Um, and, and go from there. But just you know, purely what the film shows and what, what we're able to see objectively. Obviously, you guys have a lot of new faces on your defensive line, and for Ohio State, like, when they're going through their offense, like, their offensive line has a lot of new guys playing. How important, like, have you stressed your guys on the D-line that with an offense as explosive as Ohio State, that that's a battle you guys can, it's a real place you have to win, like, that battle at the line of scrimmage? For sure. I think regardless of 
who you're playing. It starts in the trenches for us. So uh, that's been a big point of emphasis from us. It all starts up front on defense, uh, regardless of the opponent. You know, and then you say, okay, hey, here's how they function and, and what we need to do best to prepare for it from that standpoint. But again, it comes back to us, our mentality, the guys that we have up front, hand in the dirt, you know, how we're going to play from that standpoint. Kobe Miner is a guy that several people kind of called out his leadership and said he kind of stepped into a leadership role pretty quickly after he got here. Just Are there any examples in your mind that, that come to mind of his leadership and what sort of role do you see him playing in your secondary? He's had a great camp. You know, he has uh, speed to be able to cover. He has physicality in the run game to be able to mix it up. Uh, that's flash definitely during camp from that standpoint. And, uh, you know, he doesn't have to say a lot. It's, it's his work ethic. It's the way that he prepares every single day. He's been a professional from that standpoint. So I think people respect the way that he carries himself and the mentality he brings, which I think from a corner perspective, mentality is the number one thing. Matt, over here. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, just the, the process of, of being now the play caller and working in Coach Allen's you know, defense, how has that come about? Or how's been, that, how, how has that gone? It's been great. First off, it starts with, you guys know, Coach Allen, what an unbelievable man he is, an unbelievable coach. You know, so to be under his mentorship has been fantastic from that standpoint. And obviously there's a defensive system that's in place that's had a, a large amount of success throughout his career. And um, it's been awesome from that standpoint. And I can't say enough about the guys in that room, you know. Um, Paul Randolph, Chad Will, Casey, T Garden, phenomenal. Brandon Shelby. I mean, these guys are are unbelievable. You know what I mean? So the guys that you're surrounded with with Coach Allen, I mean, it's a, it's a really special group of guys. It's been great, yeah, from a play calling standpoint, it's been great. Yeah, I mean, I've obviously done it before, and, uh, you know, I have great comfortability with it, with the system, with, you know, who we are and our answers within that. I think it's an important thing as a play caller is you have answers, you know, based on attack that you get and things like that. So, yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, Matt, can you talk a little bit about Aaron Casey and Noel Pierre, both six-year guys for, uh, for Indiana and what they meant to you as a coach? Yeah, they've been phenomenal for me as a new guy. I tell them it's my first day at school. It's not yours. You've been here six years. So they show me the ropes from the start here. Um, to me, when you have two guys like that that have earned it on and off the field, uh, it's pretty special, right? And um, those guys are like coaches on the field. Those guys are leaders in the locker room, leaders in the community. I mean, those are, are special, special guys, you know, and uh, – it's, they've made me better as a coach, made me better as a man. Obviously, Noah's in the room that I'm responsible for, and his vocal presence, the way that he leads on and off the field is really special, and I would say the same thing for Ace. So um, I can't say enough about those guys and think the world of them. Thanks, Matt. Thanks guys.